Right then, so welcome back to the next video. This time, what I'm gonna do is stick the Thermo Grizzly cryo sheet, but first we need a point of reference. I'm gonna chuck my 3070 on the Fermark 2 for 10 to 15 minutes till it normalizes. So let's get right to it. Right then, so these are the before testing the cryonaut or the cryo sheet. As you can see, the grass card has actually hit a temperature of 69 celsius and what you can see up there is the gpu has been running now for 15, uh, 17 minutes so it's definitely saturated and what i'll do now is i'll show the graph and then we'll put in then we'll just put some cryonaut on see if that makes a difference if it doesn't then i'll try the cryo sheet and this is the graph now as you can see the graph line which is the orange line has leveled off so there's no need now to worry about anything. This is as hot as it's going to get. And yes, I know it's a 3070. It's not exactly known to get hot, but it's the only GPU I've got here that I can actually do testing on. So let's get some crying on and see if that makes a difference. Okay, guys, look, I, I never really, like, get excited about a product unless it's something I really want to look at. But this has got to be the best result I've ever seen through testing. I have dropped five degrees by changing over the thermal paste to the cryonaut. Now, that is amazing. Just imagine now, remember that when it comes to NVIDIA cards, they do depend on boosting due to temperatures. Now, this has been running at 13 minutes and it is just locked on 64 Celsius, which is amazing. I didn't expect this kind of result of just changing the thermal paste. So now let me show you the graph. Okay, so look, as you can see the graph by there. Now, usually when you're testing something within 10 minutes to 15 minutes, it usually equalizes. Now, for some reason, I don't know why, but this just keeps bouncing between 64 and 63 celsius but it doesn't matter that is still a major improvement for thermals when it comes to just swapping over to a good thermal paste so now since we've seen these results with the cryonaut we're gonna just change this over now to the cryo sheet and see if we can get an in-between result okay and so as you can uh, see it's been running for 17 minutes. This is the RTX 3070 with the cryo sheet on it. And as you can probably hear in the background, the fans are going absolutely ballistic. It's because this is probably more demanding, but it's because obviously the cryo sheets aren't thermal paste. They, pr they do perform differently when it comes to thermals and such. But as you can see, it's been running for 18 minutes now. The, the temperatures are fluctuate in between 70 and 71 and to be honest you know it's exactly the same settings i ran last time with the uh, cryonaut and with the thermal right paste that was on the card already now i'm going to show you the graph it kind of dips then goes back up so i'll show you that now yeah sorry about the fan noise <laughs> unfortunately but it is kind of going nuts at the moment the fans but as you can see, the graph has kind of leveled off during the testing. And we're at 19 minutes now. And it did start above 73 Celsius, but now it's leveled off. So pretty much the same as thermal paste. Well, as the thermal right thermal paste. So yeah, but let's uh, actually talk about what the cryo sheet is actually meant for. So what do you think? Now... Yes, the 3070, no, it's not the most demanding graphs card. No, it does not give out the biggest thermals ever. But it's more of an interest video for me because I like dabbling in things. I like potching with things. And the fact that I could try something that, to me, is something I wouldn't use personally because I use thermal paste, but that's me. It's just something that intrigued me i thought i've seen linus tech tips jay's two cents gamers nexus some of the big youtubers they use this 
product. Not always Thermal Grizzly, but someone else's, but it's definitely a thermal conductivity pad like just like this which is graphene now what i will say is that this is highly conductive you have to make sure that you get the proper size in and make sure that it does not touch anything else when it comes to a cpu not to touch a motherboard and when it comes to a direct die like a cpu or a gpu make sure that it does not touch any pcb or anything because this is highly conductive and it will cause a short and of course remember the thing you gotta realize this isn't a replacement for thermal paste this is a alternative to thermal paste now yes it performed around the same as the thermal right thermal paste but considering that this isn't a paste and it's something that you put down and it you can just leave it there it's got longer durability compared to thermal paste at least you wouldn't have to worry about changing this out every six seven months when your thermal paste started going bad this is what this is for it's not for you know you buy one you replace it in a month this is for long term uh, long term use as well as good on a production line where you do multiple test benches and you need to just basic instead of putting thermal paste cleaning it off and then putting it back you know that's what this is good for this is what the use is for this is something that a tech reviewer or someone that like me that does reviews for cpu coolers and such that could use to do with performance but not every single person in the world like the general consumer they're not going to know about cryo sheet that's where thermal paste comes in and i thought right let me add in cryonaut and the performance when it comes to nvidia specifically they determine when it comes to clocks it's down to the thermals if you can keep the thermal down the boost for the cp the gpu itself will go higher because you're keeping the thermals down which that is everything I've watched and stuff online. So other than that, it does come in so many different sizes. I'll put them by here for you guys. But there's a disclaimer. Remember that this is highly conductive. So if you buy it, please, a word of caution, just be careful. And also, it is very, very fragile. This is my second cryo sheet because the first one, it literally broke in pieces when I when I picked it when I picked it up with tweezers so very very fragile and highly conductive if it's something that you generally want something that just keeps you just keep it on your CPU and not worry about it for a year maybe more then it's definitely a good option to buy over thermal paste but other than that really that's the only use case I can really see anyone buying it. So if you want to buy it, I'll leave a link down below. Big thank you to Thermal Grizzly for sending out the two of them. As much as I hate damaging products, but sometimes accidents happen and it was an accident and I didn't mean to do it. So sorry again to Thermal Grizzly. And don't forget that I've got loads of stuff coming. So make sure you subscribe. This is Richard from Tech. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend ahead of you. Goodbye.